Welcome to Trans Theories, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, and today we're going to be talking about why Sino Prime's Rust Cannon did not kill Sideswipe in Transformers Dark of the Moon. So if you don't remember, Sideswipe was a secondary Autobot in the Transformers Cinematic Universe. He was introduced to us in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, who later made his debut in Transformers Dark of the Moon. And on the other hand, Sino Prime was the original leader of the Autobots before Optimus Prime. His ship, the Ark, crash landed on the moon, and later was discovered by the Autobots, and the Autobots brought back Sino to Earth, but Sentinel had to be reactivated because he was low on Energon, so he got revived by Optimus Prime's Matrix of Leadership. And that's how he's alive and well on Earth. But he came equipped with a few weapons, his classic sword and shield, but with one special weapon, his cosmic rust cannon. And if this cannon was shot on an enemy Transformer, it would turn that Transformer's body into dust, killing it in the process. Now if you remember in Dark of the Moon, Nest, Bumblebee, and Sideswipe were fighting Sentinel Prime. But as you can see in this shot, Sentinel Prime shoots Sideswipe with his cosmic rust cannon in his shoulder. But we see Sideswipe again at the end of Dark of the Moon, and none of the cosmic rust effects had any impact on Sideswipe. But earlier in the film when Sentinel Prime uses Rust Cannon against Ironhide, it makes Ironhide rust away, but for Sideswipe, it just knocks him back with no rust at all? Not even a scratch? Well, luckily for us, your boy Trans has an answer to this. The reason why we don't see any damage on Sideswipe is because the Rust Cannon was weaker when it got shot towards Sideswipe. Let me explain. As we can see in Dark of the Moon, Sentinel Prime's Rust Cannon has been shot 26 times in total before shooting at Sideswipe. Three times towards Ironhide, four times towards Bonebee, only three were visible, and the fourth one was a sound effect. Fifteen times at the Nest Soldiers, two of which were background sounds, one time at those cars, and two times at Optimus Prime. So by the time Sentinel goes around to shoot at Sideswipe, the Cosmic Rust Residue, the stuff that comes out of the Cosmic Rust Cannon's Fire Cloud, would have to be refilled to have any effect on Sideswipe. Because of how many times the gun had been shot, all the Cosmic Rust Residue has ran out. So the only thing that Sideswipe would have felt was the force of the heat that came out of the gun, which made him fly backwards. And all of this can be proven again when Sentinel tries to shoot a Nest Soldier. And I played this shot frame by frame and when he shoots the rust cannon, nothing came out of that fire cloud, which was the exact same for Sideswipe's case. While when Sentinel shot Ironhide, we clearly saw the Cosmic Rust round come out of the Cosmic Rust cannon. And another good example of this is when Sentinel Prime shoots the trees. And as you can see, there is Cosmic Rust residue on the trees and on the grass. And thanks to Sentinel Prime not refilling his Cosmic Rust cannon with Cosmic Rust residue, Sideswipe cheated death. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new about the Transformers Cinematic Universe. Also, if you're new to trans theories, don't forget to subscribe to join the Theorist Nation. And consider joining my Patreon squad if you're interested. As always, this has been Trans Theories saying, keep on theorizing.